And welcome back to... Ian, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What do you mean? What Christmas are... in July, dude. Yeah, we're not doing anything Christmas related right now either. We're not unboxing this? No. We're doing what the OP is... kit. Oh. Yeah. 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 Mm. You look you look ridiculous. That has got to be the ugliest okay. sweater I have ever seen. And for real, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining Dial H for Hero Clicks. We yeah. gotta talk about another. I didn't change. Yeah, you didn't change. No. Do you want to change? Ah, uh, we're fine. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're cool. Well, we're just gonna talk about the Scooby Doo Villains OP set. Uh, I'm very excited about this one. We get to see a couple of resculpts: the Joker and the Penguin from Batman Team Up, and then Two Face with a brand new sculpt, which is really cool. They've just been throwing out all sorts of Two Faces yeah. recently. They're so killing it. I, I mean, like it a lot. Batman into Batman Villains. It doesn't get better than yeah. this, folks. And I think we need to note one thing before we get into anything, okay. Calder. And that is the significant appearance on that is the true. Yeah. Joker. Um, Penguin and Joker have a very similar significant appearance here. Not Two-Face. Not Two-Face. He ain't, he ain't part Riddler? of this universe. No. Not the no, Riddler. Not Riddler. <laughs> Just We've really face. solved this mystery, yeah. haven't we? Add a clue token. Uh, but the appearance is the new Scooby-Doo movies, number 102 from 1972. For... I loved that movie as yeah. a kid, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then, uh, you know, the, the counterfeit bills on the con exclusive. I believe that was also exactly. in reference to the yeah. old... Uh, because they were the dummies, like, stuffed with money. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, very cool. I love these significant appearances. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, stylization-wise, I think this was a great choice for Sculpt These to fit, represent yeah. those. Yeah. Fit. I really, really like fun. the Joker's big. Ooh. Ooh. It's I like it a lot. It's really cool. So, we'll jump into Two-Face first, because Joker and Penguin have some very cool mechanics yes. that are very thematic and potentially, I think, pretty I think they're uh, really strong. Pretty strong, really yeah. Good. yeah. I like them a lot. So Two-Face, uh, he is 50 points, just the one line. He's Batman, Family, Gotham City, Gotham City Underworld, and Politician. I am in control as a trait. At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 and turn Two-Face to the same click number on the resulting color. If Two-Face is already on a click of that color, modify his combat values plus one until your next turn. So one through three is red, four through six is blue. So you'll be possibly changing dials or getting a nice combat buff. He also has a damage special on the red dial, which is leadership and perplex. So he kind of switches between, mm. it looks like a sidestep precision strike piece with defend, leadership, perplex, to a running shot, psychic blast, mastermind outwit, so kind of the Harvey Dent to yeah, I two see base that. Yeah. line. And uh, yeah, the, the extra bump to his combat values, like he'd be a 12 for three with psychic blast. It's pretty nasty. Pretty good. Uh, I like that it's a little inconsistent. That's very on brand for Two Face. I think this is a pretty solid figure, and the sculpt, I mean, it's incredible. It's very similar to the one we saw in Notorious, but this yep. time, he's got a briefcase. He's holding his big old coin Full of cash up. or yeah. checks or maybe full just papers. His lawyer papers. He has Phoenix Wright briefcase just full of lawyer papers. It's a, and <laughs> it's a nice detail to have the coin held up. Yeah, I like very, the coin. Uh, very classic Two-Face. So yeah, overall, really solid figure. Always good to see new sculpts and a great way to kick off the OP. But why I don't you so. uh, show us Penguin? So Calder. Penguin's really cool. Him and Joker have similar abilities here. Yes, so they do. They actually have the same ability. The exact same ability, yeah. But they just mm -hmm. give different things for him. I mean, yes. It'll make sense here in a second. But he's Gotham City, Gotham City Underworld, and Monster. It's kind of unique for Penguin. That is the interesting. That's monster keyword. So his trait is, let's see who's under that mask, shall we? At the beginning of the game, you may replace Penguin with a character of 50 points or less and the monster keyword on their starting click. This game, Ooh. that character can use the standard powers the Penguin can use on his starting click. And Crazy. that character has Batman enemy team ability. And when this character would take damage, instead replace them with the Penguin on his starting click. So what are Penguin's starting click powers? He has Stealth, Mastermind, and Outwit. Uh, this is really cool. So you replace him with any 50-point monster. There's a lot of good ones in modern age right now. And then they are I can't unmasked. think of a single there's, red one on a, a certain, surfboard. There's a certain <laughs> one. Uh, it might be Cosmic flying around on a certain symbiotic surfboard. Maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. uh, but now that character 
could be anyone, uh, has stealth, mastermind, and outwit, which is really good. Defensively, of course, keeping safe from ranged attacks, and also when they would take damage, well, I'm not taking damage if I'm masterminding Mastermind, it to somebody yeah. else. So that's just really good. It's also giving outwit for the extra just potential of taking away powers from your opponent. And then the special attack power Penguin has his entire dial, so when you do unmask him after you deal that character damage, and it is just Oswald Cobblepot, it gives him free... Uh, what's this umbrella do? Free. Choose one to use his turn. Blades, Claws, Fangs, or Energy Explosion. Pretty simple, but still pretty stout, considering that they're giving that monster added powers, defensibility, offensibility, and then it comes out, you just wasted an attack just to bring in Penguin here, and now you still have six clicks of Penguin you've got to choose from, yeah. which is still Mastermind Stealth and Outwit. So that's what Penguin does. It's simple, but it's really cool, and I, I really enjoy him. He has a 10 attack, which means he can go ahead and steal the 11 from... Oh, the old Joker here. Mm. And, uh, you know, to kind of speak on the trade as well, yes, you do have to swap into them when you take damage. And yes, right. they are five more points than the 50-point character you're using. But you can also look at it as five more points for, in Penguin's case, Stealth Mastermind Outwit. Stealth Mastermind Outwit, yeah. That is a crazy it's power really set to give to somebody like Carnage Surfer. I mean, he's already got double rollouts. Now he has Mastermind. Now he has Stealth. And you can still, like... I mean, you just do, do everything so he much. Can do. Yeah, it's so exactly. good. Yeah, it's literally so good. Everything on top of that. I don't know if I'm willing to take the risk of just taking like one damage because if I get poisoned, I, I'm true. Penguin there's, the whole time. <laughs> there's Penguin. There's like a boot knockback. There's all sorts of like <laughs> random stuff that could happen that it's like, ah, it's me, the Penguin. Rawr. I like to imagine like if he got poisoned, you just hear like Penguin cough. It's like, hey, that's not Carnage Silver <laughs> <Yeah>. Surfer. <laughs> like, you spot him out oh, right geez. away. So anyway, guys, the Joker here, he's Arkham Asylum, Gotham City, Gotham City Underworld, and Monster. It's the same exact trait, except Joker has a few different powers. He's got Plasticity, Super Senses, and Exploit, which are so also good. fantastic so powers. So good, yeah. Uh, not necessarily for Carnage Surfer, but, you know, that's okay. And then he also has a special attack power. This is going to be his whole dial as well. His power set is static the entire dial. It's just poison, but deals damage even if moved or placed this turn. This is not a horrible figure to turn into. Is it something you want to happen? Not necessarily. But this just seems like a trait where there's going to be something. There's going to be that one figure that just makes these, like, magical. It's got to be. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing, right? And, I mean, seriously, as far as a Scooby-Doo mechanic goes, this has to be, like, at the best. It's really cool. Yeah, it it's just perfect. The coolest, they, right? they unmask the villain. It's like, man, it was me the whole time. It's so perfect, so... I love that. Great trio. Mechanic. Great yeah. follow-up to the Batman OP. Great. This really is uh, really solid, and probably the moment you guys have been waiting for. Here. Oh, this! Oh, this thing! This little, this little Riddle shiny, me this shiny this. guy. Yeah, quite the enigma. This this legacy card was. <laughs> uh, we get Riddler. Who could it be? So this is Riddler from Joker's Wild, who has the really cool clue box token and all that fun stuff. This Riddler gains Gotham City Underworld, Legion of Doom, Secret Six, and Detective keywords. Kind of need some unique keywords That's for the old school here. ones. Uh, I do love the trait living rent free in your head that's really funny a uh, perplex and then slash slash mastermind when the riddler uses it if they're not being attacked by the character with the riddle token they may instead choose the character with the riddle token regardless of point value or adjacency even if that character is opposing okay that so i can is... mastermind to someone with the riddle token how do i give out the riddle token let's see mm. Riddle's so perplexing, you don't know which way is up or down. Okay, Riddle, hit Riddler, hit me with it. Is he drugging Three. you? He's, oh gosh. <laughs> and Riddler's like, yeah, Riddle me this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rag. <laughs> uh, free. Free. <laughs> no character is on the map that has a Riddle token. Choose another character within six squares and give them a Riddle token. When a character with a Riddle, with Riddler's Riddle token, oh goodness, attacks <laughs> and rolls a seven or less, they automatically miss. Oh my gosh. The character with the riddle Whoa. token has power. Remove the riddle token. So as soon as you get within six squares to somebody, you just go, boop, you have a riddle token. That's brutal. Right? Their attack rolls of seven or less are instant That's misses. That's not unique either. You could, no, you could play not. multiples you of can, these guys. You can drop a ton of these, which is crazy. So he's 40 points. He has stealth combo reflexes outwit. Uh, he's pretty simple dial because it is, of course, based off that old Joker's wild riddler. But man, what a okay. strong ability. Just be yeah. like, all right, sevens or lesser misses. That, I mean, usually 
Because they kind of would be, but seven is the average roll, which is still a pretty good chance to hit. play that with a Saturnine, yeah. too? Yeah, and then he himself just has Perplex, can Perplex down attack values, can Perplex up defenses. Yeah. Man, that is actually kind of wild. Okay, Riddler here is, is one tough The fact that it's himself. just a roll, too. Yeah. Um, You know, you wow. bring in, like, Saturnine, who can bump down a roll by one, and now you need an eight. And then you're just, yeah. And then you're just, that could be... This could be really brutal in the right hand. It really can be, man. And it's a power action to try to get rid of the riddle token, which just feel, doesn't feel good oh, at all. It feels terrible Absolutely to waste terrible, an yeah. action to get rid of And then he token. just gives it to you again, again for free, for free. The next yeah. turn. Okay. Okay, Riddler. Dang, this is stout. This is one of my favorite OP kits that they are releasing next year. The I flavor think it is on so this is a awesome. 10 out of 10. Oh, it's, this is like Ratatouille bite. Sending me back Food Network, my Bobby childhood. Flay, yeah, Iron dude, Chef. You're not is, beating him. This is all flavor right you're here. You're not beating this him. This is actually like Alton Brown flavor. This is some fun flavor, if you ask me. It's a little fun while you're <laughs> cooking, you know what I mean? Yeah, so but that's, potentially competitive as well. I Riding think so that too. Line. Yeah, exactly. So This is like exactly where I think you want OP kits, where there might be something here, and if there isn't, they're still so, so fun to play. Oh, absolutely. And if you're just like us, and you love this OP kit, well, get, get this. You have a chance to win it. If you are what? subscribed to Dial H for Hero Clips, and you comment below mm. you'll be entered Boom. into a raffle to win this op kit that's the joker the two-face the penguin and the riddler legacy card that's all you gotta do guys be subscribed comment below we'll throw your name in a raffle and you might win this bad boy early what makes this so early. cool yeah. yeah this is the february kit guys and the day that this is airing we're probably going to get this to you about two months early we'll do our best to ship it out as soon as possible so yeah getting some stuff early I mean, that's the name of the game in Hero Clips. Oh, absolutely. That's the most fun that's part, what it's all right? About. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, guys, let us know what your favorite figure in this OP kit is and what do you think so far about the OP kits coming back. And like always, happy trails.